Hello everybody on YouTube. It's been about, I think, 11 months since the last update on the trailer. And so I'm going to give you the latest update now that I've brought all the parts back. I think it was about almost exactly one year ago, maybe even to the day, that I took all these parts for the trailer and took them out to the clubhouse for the meetup and had John and Keith and a few other people out there, I think Muzzle Mike helped too, and a few others, Help me straighten the pieces out, even uh, put some support pieces in. Well, I'll just go ahead and show you and I'll explain along the way. So, here's what I've got accomplished so far. I've been painting on the pieces there. The part that you can't see is black underneath. I'm spray painting black where it's just something to put on the pieces to keep them from rusting. And then the top of the pieces are red so that they kind of match the original color. I was originally going to just paint it all black because I got this paint on a, a sale. It was, I, I think it was like four bucks a can, and with the rebate, you ended up getting these for a dollar a can. So I've still got like, what do I have there? One, two, three, about eight of them. I got about 12 of them. So I was just going to do the trailer black, but then they had another sale. Not as good of a sale, but I think uh, still a pretty decent sale of red paint. So then I got a bunch of cans of red. I think I've got like three more of them left. So I figured I just, I'll use the black paint on the parts that are not easily observed, that are like, going to be covered by a piece of plywood or whatever and so uh, because like for example for this piece here and I'll show you in the other assembly that I have done um, you're only going to basically see like this much of the red here and then this side of the red and this is going to be all covered with plywood so and they really going to see most of that so I could have even painted some of that black but yeah getting along I'll show you the first part that I've got assembled it's the frame to the front part of the deck it's all assembled and ready to go here it's not a perfect paint job either. It's got some blemishes in it, and there's even, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but right down there there's a little bit of black overspray. For some reason, I went around and touched up the back part. Maybe I didn't paint it good enough and it got on the red. But as usual, this is all going to be a piece of plywood anyway, and all you're going to see is just a little bit of the edge here and then this outside part. So what does it matter as long as it's just got some coating on it so that it doesn't rust up? So. The idea today is if I have enough time to get all the rest of these pieces done for the back part of the top deck frame, so I'll have the front and the back done, then I'm going to start working on the um, support pieces in the tongue. Uh, let's see, where is that? That's this one right here. This is the tongue piece. You can see the rounded part there in the bottom and everything, so I'll start working on that. But I did run into a problem. I don't know if you can kind of see this in the video. I'll try to show you, but if you can sight along here, this piece here, it's not true. It's got like a crown in it, and this is kind of like a saddle right here. It's just not straight at all. So I tried straightening it. I put it in uh, some really good clamps and even bent it quite a ways. I didn't want to take a chance and kink it and just totally ruin the piece. But I tried with clamps, and I could not get it straightened. It just It's taken a set this way. So it's just a 2-inch piece of 1 8 inch thick angle stock. So... I'll just go and pick up another piece. And when you know, too, the piece happens to be 36 and a half inches. So um, I could go to Home Depot and pick up a 36 inch piece, but then what I'm going to have to end up doing is picking up a four foot piece and just for that extra half inch, cut it off. Because uh, basically, with the, the mounts right here are so close to the edge, I couldn't get away with cutting it short, really, and have enough support on it. So I'll just have to deal with it the way it is. So, and, uh, yeah, that's where I am with the trailer right now. If I get a little bit more done, I will let you guys know. I think that's about everything. If you got any questions, just uh, let me know, and I'll put them in the next video. There's probably, after 11 months of no updates on the trailer, there's probably like three or four of you even left following me, but that's okay. Whoever's watching, watching. And uh, finally, I want to make the announcement, too. If it's past September 2019, just uh, you might as well end the video here because the rest is going to be for that. So. Anyway, the, the meetup is going to be September 2019 at my house. Um, you can go down to the bottom of the video, and I will put a link to my email, and just email me, and uh, everybody's invited. If you're a moto vlogger or if you want to meet some moto vloggers, we have the meetup the uh, third week in September. I'll put down the dates and everything in the description there. If it's past September 2019, well, you missed out. So, anyway, till next time.